on in Jules here from Jules Designs and JT Creation. So what we're doing today is we're making tags out of scraps. Um, this was just a, a bit of a scrap file folder. This was just a bit of a scrap um, watercolour card that I'd been painting on. I've done some embossing, um, embossed some book pages, some card. These cards were just um, I printed a digital out, and it didn't it didn't print out my um, printer was needing the heads cleaned, so we're using these. So what I did was it was an A4 paper, and I just cut it into a. Usually I go for three, three inches that way and five inches that way, but that one isn't. That's three inches, but it's a lot more than five inches. That one's probably about two and three quarters. So I've got four tags. And I'm going to leave that side. I might work on that side. I don't know, but I'm wanting to work with some vellum um, that I misprinted as well so I was printing butterflies and one piece of vellum got stuck in with the other one and it printed half and half so I went to use these I've also got some other bits and pieces um, that printed out wrong that printed out too large some spring ones um, I quite like that on there actually but you can see it printed out so if we put that the top like that um i'll try this one i've not used it for ah it's all right and this is just dark glitter glue that i'm using and i'm just doing the top at the top there I quite like that just like that but what I'm going to do is I am going to stick it down at the bottom as well although it's just a loose overlay um, so we will stick this down we've got a ribbon now what are we going to do with it um i think what i'm going to do is i'm just going to decorate this up with pins and glitter so we've got a white gel pen we've got a gold um a silver these are just what i picked up in um here now these I just got from B&M's so they might still have them in B&M's is a cheapy shop here in the UK um, similar to Dollar Tree and they're just they're called Scribbits um, I use them now and again so So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go along the lines.
I like that pink. And I'm just putting some extra dots in. I'm not colouring them totally in, just leaving little bits of I know why it's going wobbly now because the paper underneath is um, embossed, isn't it? So it's not wanting to. And then you can do some little curly bits. Little insect then ten eye. And I think we'll try with a bit of gold. We'll do this one. And what else are we going to do? I've got a label on it somehow. Um, I've got some labels that I've just cut out, and we've I've got some little embossed. What I did was I embossed about three pages together, and it actually cut through the pages because the the book pages are quite um delicate so i think what i might do is put them on so i'm going to try and color them in first and it's band or and these are just distressed um Dobbers. I'm not quite sure what will happen with these. Um, because I've mixed water with it, it um, it'll go lighter. I'm not sure if they'll go a bit dilapidated because um, they are a bit, well, they were cut out because I embossed them. And and I'm just going to dab them dry rather than dry them because they're too little. What other colours have I got? Well, that's a bit turquoisey. That's more blue. And we'll mix a bit of water with that. And I'll put a bit of this in there. And the ones come out. I didn't want the one to come out. I just wanted them to stay in. They are meant to come out. And again. Um, what else have I got?
and they are a bit brighter. It always dries later anyway. Oh, now the eight's come out. That's because it was wet. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on first. And I'm putting it on with Fabri Tack. And I'm going to put it down at the bottom here. And what I will do is I'm going to put some little um, brads. I've got some little tiny brads. I've got some jewelled ones as well. So put that down there. On there. So we've not really done anything to this, we've just enhanced the, the picture that was already on. And I'm just going to get some Brad to be back. All right, just moving the camera back. All right, so I've got some brads now. What I've got is I've got a pink one and a blue, blue one. Um, I've also got some little tiny jeweled ones. They might be, they might be too big. Yeah, I think we need to use the little tiny ones and I'm going to go right through to the, the card um, on the back and when you do that be careful that you're not poking it through your fingers. I know I've done it many times. Make sure your fingers are not in the way. And then, and then we'll put this one again. Make sure your fingers aren't in the way. This pin's quite good. It's it's um, embossing tools, but it's got a pin, and then it's got a one point not embossing one point five, and I think these are mills and two point. Um, and it's one of the do crafts. It was when I used to do the the demos, and it, it they still do do it because I've seen it in the range, um, and it is quite a handy handy pen to have more so because the pokey tool um, I'm just going to put them straight I oh, know I might not be able to do that with that one because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little label on the back of here right I'll just put that to the one side there you are And I'm just drawing the antenna. Um, just going to put a bit of glue underneath there. I was going to leave them so that they're struck up, but I'll not bother 
um, because obviously it's a tag it's going to get slipped in and out and I want some ribbon of that one and so I'm putting the two I'm just going to And just thread this through the slot um, I don't know whether to tie that in a knot I'm going to tie it in a knot I like it in a knot and then I can keep the the ribbon on the the front of the tag um, if you prefer your your ribbon up that's fine but I like mine on the front so tend to put my knot on the front like that and we'll just leave that like that so there we have another one and I'm going to put some washi tape on that butterfly and insect that's quite nice so we'll put that on there I think I'm going to have to stick that down with glue because it doesn't feel very and that's either came from Aliexpress or somewhere um, or the range or the works again they're all shops here in the, the UK um, the range reminds me of um, I'm trying to think Publix um, sells everything or it used to when I went and there we are and you can write on that you don't need to do anything if you do you can put a piece of um, just coffee dyed paper or plain paper on I'm just going to leave that like that so this next one I'm going to work on this side and what I might do is put like a pocket Again, I'm just going to ink up there. I'll, I know. I'll do it with this. You just want a thin bead of glue. And along the bottom. And I'm just going to put my thin bead of glue there because I know this is longer. And there we are. Now I did mean to um, ink that edge however I've um, put that on first so what I do then is just put that in there and I'm going to do it with tea dye And you can see very slightly where the glue's been um, 
or it will dry and what I might do is I might stitch around this one now what else am I going to do with it um, I want some boot page in there I want some of this in but you can see <laughs> again this was two pages so we'll There, like that and I'm going to put that on there but what I'm going to do is I'm going to ink it first and because these are pinks I'm going to do it a, a pink um, so what I'll do is I might try the saltwater taffy because it's a pretty colour and using my anything I can get hold of. Just ripping this away. And I am putting Fabri Tac on this one because I like the. You won't be able to see where it's glued because it's on top of the vellum or tracing paper. And I've got some and do I want any more of this? I quite like this round bit. Um, we've done salt water taffy we'll try sponge sugar we've also got tatter drawers there and I'm just slightly going over the, the embossed bits um, And it's just picking it up so you can see right I'll put that there and I think I am going to try pickled raspberry the oxide, I like the oxides, and this is a bit brighter, so I'm just gonna just lightly go over the the flower a bit and then use another part of the sponge. There we will go over this. Now that, and we'll go over these little bits. Okay. And then we'll put this back in here. Oh, 
here and again I'm going to stick this in with um, fabric tack and I'm just putting this down here I am letting it go over the the side of the tag a little bit because I like that but I'll end it up with a little bit of glue and it's gone underneath so the last thing I want is for that so what I'm doing is I'm just putting a little bit of the tissue on the ruler Put it underneath and then just and that should have wiped that enough and then we'll take this off here and I think I'm going to use the pickled raspberry just to in crowned it I'm not using the pink raspberry I'm using the other pink bits and I think we'll have a butterfly on that but I'm going to cut one out of the And these are just watercolour butterflies. Um, I didn't do them, but they will be going into a kit. do is I'll put some on my uh, coffee site as a freebie because I'm going to do the I'm going to do a tag template with some cluster bits and pieces and what I will do is I'll put one of these butterflies on Now, if you've ever done parchment, um, parchment craft, I did. Um, I went and did classes so I could teach it. Um, you could do that with this. Um, for those that don't know what parchment craft is, Pergamano is another name for it, but Pergamano is the brand because they sell all the paints and um, tools and that. But I know it as parchment craft and that went from our um, lessons in parchment craft, not Pergamano. Um, as I say, Pergamano is the trade name, is the brand name of the tools. And I'm sorry, but these little antennas or her little antennas are getting cut off. So to do, um, I want to see where my little sponge is. I usually have like a little sponge plate underneath there. Go on. This is a stamp pad and you do it underneath. Um, you usually have all different types of embossing tools and you just lightly run round the lines you have you can either um, trace out patterns there's also um, special cutting tools so that you can um, like three pins and things like that and you, it's the way you pin through the the vellum and um, it can make nice little um, lacy patterns 
and I mean it it does take a wee while um it's not for the people that are um want everything done yesterday that's why I don't do a lot of it because I like <laughs> I like mine to be done yesterday um although it is very therapeutic I must admit it is very therapeutic Just gently go. I've still got all my tools and that. I'm not getting rid of them. What I'll do is little, these little taily bits or a little taily bits. And In there, I don't know whether you can see, but you can see because it goes white. Um, you can see a bit of the body, and that's that's basically, but obviously more intricate than that. Um, I've got glue stuck all over me, and I think we shall put this one up here. Again, I'm going to stick it on with just going to go around the edges just with a thin, as thin as I can get with um, fabric tack. There we are, and I'll put that on there. Okay, so that's just making um, tags out of scrap uh, misprints and things like that. So don't ever throw your misprints out because you will use them. And we want a darker ribbon for that, so we'll use some of this one. Um, I've got my ribbons up here. <laughs> right, we'll try some of this one. Nope. Right, I've got a lilac on her. And again, I like to knot my ribbon in front. so these are the two tags that were, these are the two that I did off offline these are kind of Easter and I embossed that with like the basket weave that one I didn't emboss by the boot pages um, this one I did on the video and we used um, a bit of mist print vellum and just decorated it up and I don't know whether you can see, um, just slightly when you turn to the light, you can see the metallic um, that was drawn on. And then this one, we've got a pocket, so we need something to put in the pocket. Um, in fact, I have... Some bits and pieces. What did I do with them? Here they are. Oh. Here we are. 
we'll put this one, I'll cut that one down. And we'll cut that one. There we are. And that's a tag in there. So there we are. So something quite easy. And as I say, um, I will put a, a tag template on my coffee as a freebie. And I'll put some little bits of um, cluster um, makers for doing bits and pieces. And um, I'll put one or two of these butterflies on as well. Okay, so I'll see you in the next video. Bye.